Hmm. Testing this. Okay. I'm going to try and start this. We're going to have it on. Okay, I got to wash my hands. Look out, doggy doggies. We need soap. All right. Welcome to Donna's first video for What's Donna Cooking? Like you really care. All right, today I'm making pan slider juicy baguettes. We start after washing our hands. We have two and one quarter pounds of ground meat, preferably a lean meat, and uh, got the fairly large medium kind of bowl. And we're going to add, I have mm, two, what do I have? I have one tablespoon of salt and two teaspoons of ground pepper that we're going to add. And here I have two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. So I'll put the Worcestershire sauce in there. Awesome. And then about a half a cup of grated, which is not fun to do, but grated onion. Mmm. That looks delicious. And now we're going to squish it all around so we get everything incorporated into this wonderful meatloaf looking kind of thing to make the burgers. So you got to squeeze and squish and squeeze and squish. Get it all incorporated into the meat. Da, da, da. Oh yeah. And you gotta have clean fingernails too, because that would be really gross. A lot of dirt likes to hang out in those fingernails, people. So you make sure your fingernails are pretty clean. Before you do this, okay. Oh, we have a flyaway. Oh, okay. I think I'm giving it another few squishes. Make sure all that salt and pepper is in there. Salt and pepper and Worcestershire sauce and a little grated onion. All right. Now you're gonna take half. Oh, let's make a big, nice ball. And then we'll figure out half and half. Okay, I will say that like a brain. Oh, looks like half. And that is going to go on a nine by... The 13 rimmed sheet pan, which I have non stick. I do not need to grease it. So, here we go. You're going to press this all through because these slider burgers. We're gonna go 
on a dozen slider buns and then you just cut the whole thing when you're done. Oh, this is such a workout. Right, Sparky? Not really, but... Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at my meat ring. Okay, big. Mm, those don't look too uh, graded, but it's okay. No big deal. It's not gonna ruin anything. Okay. Almost done with this little part. Then, oh yeah. Make it even in all these places so it's gonna cook evenly. So beautiful meat spread. Now, fun part, that was kind of fun, is to add a cheese mound. Now, the recipe that I saw asked for six slices of sharp cheddar, six slices of mozzarella, and six slices of good old American cheese. I, of course, am not using that. I'm just using whatever I could find. So, you're gonna just spread it all out and not to the very edges, otherwise it will seep. This cheese will kind of seep out over. So you kind of keep it away. Give it a little border here. In fact, I'll put this right here. And I'm using Colby Jack, just cause, hey, it ain't bad. And that's what I had. So, one, two, three, and a four. Now my next, I didn't get mozzarella cause it was, I couldn't find it in this whole pandemic, whatever. Could not find sliced mozzarella. So I'm using um, white American cheese. Works for me. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that. Oh, make it perfect. Six. I've got four dogs watching me. And then, ooh, this is Tillam. Uh, Tillamark, Tillamark, Tillamark. I don't know. It's good cheese. This is sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar and it's a bit thicker so made sure those other cheeses were not as thick otherwise it's just going to be a cheese sandwich you know with a little added meat i didn't want toasted cheese so here we go beautiful oh look at it. now the other half and notice the edges i left so they don't go sweeping over With this. All right. Now, all we're gonna do. Oops. Lucky dog. Is uh, spread this over the cheese. Kind of seal it around the cheese, just so you can keep the cheese from spilling out of those juicy, juicy burgers. Oh, the dogs want this bag. Okay. Ooh, some of that cheese wants to migrate. Okay, no you don't. No you don't. Okay, 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 okay. So does a pan. Hopefully it's in the camera view. Still can see what I'm doing. Easy. <laughs> oh, 
Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to kind of tuck it in. But notice this over here. Bacon. 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 That's going to get weaved together on top of this beautiful, beautiful hunk of goodness. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Make sure it's all. I want any little cheesies showing through. I want it all hidden deep within. My hands are still clean, by the way. They're just dirtied up with meat. Mm-hmm. Now, my dogs are very excited at this. The bacon. I think I should be uh, 12 slices of bacon. I didn't get the real thick kind because I didn't want it to be, it sounds fattening enough already, and I just did not want to taste just the bacon. Otherwise, I would have made a BLT. Two, so, wow, you know, I saw some, but we'll see what it turns out like. I'm just thinking it's going to be really long going the other way when I weave it in. I don't know. We'll find out. Here we go. Let me go. Oh, one, oh, two, oh, three. I'm probably doing this a tough way. But, you know, every other one up and over and up and over. And then you got all this, hmm, well, that's what I'll do. I'll just curl it right up there and start from when I left. Like, um, nope, nope, nope. Like, um, this should have gone under, y'all, under, jeez, under. Even the dogs knew that. But let me. Move this over some. That goes under for the weave. Yes. And then to continue this. And then this one will slide under. Oh, there's such a better way to do this. I can do it all the time on a meatloaf. I just, I'm working with big things here. Okay. Up and over, down. And I'm gonna bring it around. Yes. Bacon. Over and down. It's looking pretty already. Whoa, hey now. Her. What? Well, I don't care. Let's see. That baby decided to fold in on itself. It still tastes good, so that's going over, under. Just got to remember your overs and unders. Oh, this all wants to fold over its greasy self, too. Come on, man. So that's going on. Then I go under. I feel like I'm making a meat dress. Over, under. I know professionals do this. I am not a professional. As you can see. Huh. Get under there. Okay, look at that. Just looks like a ribbon of fat. Which it is. Ribbon of fat. Keep on going with this. We'll speed it up, I think. When I figure out how to on the video, you know what I'm saying? But I'll figure it out. 
cake. No puppies, you are not getting any raw bacon today. Huh. Yeah, I think this will make it. I got three slices left. And my nose itches. That was easier right there. Right there was easier. Hitchhikers, baby. Exactly what I needed was 12 pieces of bacon. All right, I'll put a little, where can I have some? I'll put a little, all right, here you go, a little shot spots right there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Tuck it all in. Delicious. I could eat this now. Mmm. I would like to lick the bowl. My hands all still clean. Somehow? Okay. Without it falling, let me wash my hands. Okay. That's beautiful, beautiful. So when this cooks, and I don't mess up my oven, this will go in a bigger size sheet pan to capture all that grease goodness. And I will bake this 400 degrees for 30 minutes. All right. All right. And then, after the 30 minutes is done, I will kick the oven up to broil for a few seconds, keep an eye on it just to crisp up the bacon just a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to make the sauce with a fourth cup mayo, two teaspoons of hot sauce, and fourth cup a thousand island dressing. And then we will get to the assembly once this all comes out of the oven. And my hands feel so so nourished by meat. All right. Now I gotta wash this. Okay. Da, 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 da.
it still going? Yeah. Hot sauce. I'm almost done. I'm just not, I'm just, uh, haven't stopped the filmage. They know it's filming time. Dogs are being good. is cooking I'm gonna make the sauce that we're gonna drizzle on top of all the meat and pickles and everything so we need one fourth cup Thousand Island dressing oh I got mayonnaise on my finger mmm fourth come on fourth cup Mayonnaise. Mmm, yeah. Made a little mess. Yes, Kiki. And how much? I think about two teaspoons of hot sauce. Bam, 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 bam. That's good enough. I ain't gonna measure. And okay. So. Give that, which I totally forgot, I'm giving that a little stick. Oh, delicious, delicious. Mmm, sauce, sauce is ready. Still got time. Mmm, mayo. Still waiting for the meat. So, there we go.
Dog wants in. I need a bunch, huh? Lost my tomatoes. Where the fuck are my tomatoes? again still waiting for the meat to be done it's got 15 minutes to go and I have brought out my tomatoes need two tomatoes sliced thinly uh, some lettuce 